Meditation dates back 5,000 years and has many health benefits, including helping with stress and anxiety and improving learning and concentration. Our wellness expert, Heather Hans, joins us with more on meditation. Good morning. Good morning, Corey. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I need to learn how to do meditation. I've always wanted to do it. So what are some of the lesser known benefits of meditation? Well, yeah, meditation is really simple. Um, you really just need a comfortable place to sit and uh, a few minutes of your time and you close your eyes and notice the, the physical sensations of the present moment. So most often that's done by noticing your breath. And when you notice yourself getting absorbed in thoughts about the past or the future, you just don't worry about it and keep anchoring back to the physical sounds and sensations of your breath. It's so hard not to let your mind just wander and think about other things, but that's the point of meditation is again, being in the present. So what are the steps of meditation? Yeah, so, well, um, really you just let, let yourself keep anchoring back because your mind will continue to wander, but you're just changing your focus to the present moment. And some of the things that it can help us do is um, it reduces uh, or can help people overcome addiction because with meditation, um, med it, it separates the, the act of craving from or the state of craving from the act of addiction mm -hmm. so you meditate through the craving and it gives you an immediate psychological and physical calming effect that gets stronger with consistency you could do it in the morning which helps you transition from sleeping to waking and starting your day off calmly you can also do it after work that gives you a transition before home or at night it helps you relax and fall asleep and another thing that it can do is it can reduce social anxiety and improve your relationships because it's been found to help people control their emotions better so that you are really um, giving more, giving less control or giving less attention to negative self-beliefs because thinking too much about yourself can increase anxiety. And there's a study out of Yale showing that uh, meditation reduces those self-referential thoughts. And then one of my personal favorites is that it can help with insomnia because it boosts the sleep hormone melatonin and re it puts you in a relaxed state of mind. And then it also reduces your heart rate, your breathing, and the stress hormone cortisol. And you could probably fall asleep easier knowing that you made better decisions during the day, which it also helps people do because it increases empathy, which um, makes people more aware and accepting. So many health benefits. All right, Heather, give me some tips to help us get started and stick with it. Sure. So the brain has to create new neural pathways anytime we learn something new. So you just have to be patient during that beginning stage where it's kind of awkward and just keep practicing closing your eyes and noticing your breath. And the recommended times vary from 40 minutes, but you definitely build up to that to 20 minutes twice a day, but you can even just close your office door and do it for two minutes to reduce stress. And there are lots of books and classes and online tools that can help. I need to start this. All right, Heather, thank you so much. Great tips as always. Have a great Monday. Thank you. You too, Corey. Thank you.